So today is game seven of the World Series, the final day of the baseball season, uh, which I see as kind of a ceremonial step towards the winter, the end of the warm season. And I'll take this opportunity to tell a little story from a baseball game a couple summers ago. I was sitting at the game and I decided, uh, I was curious to calculate uh, what are the odds that I would get a foul ball hit to me. And because uh, catching a foul ball is a, it's a very fun part of the game. It's, it includes the spectators in the games that at any moment uh, a ball could suddenly come to you and then you would be on the spot to attempt to make a catch. And I was, I wanted to calculate, you know, what are the odds and, you know, how many could I expect, how many games would it would have to go to to expect to get a ball. So I open up my phone and start typing this into Google. What are the odds that a foul ball is hit to you? And as I was typing this and as I was looking up, uh, looking through my Google results for uh, people attempting to calculate these odds, a foul ball started flying in my direction. And I couldn't believe it. I, 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 my head was in the phone. Uh, I, I, I couldn't possibly believe that this was really happening. Didn't seem real. And I hesitated, uh, took too long, and went into this sort of passive uh, observer state um, instead of somehow putting down my phone and reaching for the ball, I was just sort of stunned uh, as this ball came closer and it hit uh, on the steps uh, just near me. Um, it, it bounced off the step and uh, I, I, I could easily have put my phone down and stepped out into the step and had a good chance of catching this ball. Um, there was also a reasonable chance that I could have, uh, it could have hit me in the face because the way this ball, it, it, it hit, the, hit a step and then bounced up, straight up from the step, flew uh, up into the air and then landed uh, several seats over from me. So there would have also been a good chance that uh, you know I could have uh, attempted to catch it, uh, leaning over it, and then it could have smashed me in the face. That's also uh, a possible result. But this, I mean, yeah, you know, it's a it, it's a random event. It's a it's a surprise event. But this really hit me. It really it really bothered me. Uh, I I felt such regret that I had not responded to that moment and I had allowed that moment to pass um, and I missed that opportunity um, possibly partly because I was too much in that phone state where I wasn't fully plugged into the reality around me partly I had a sense of I have a phone in my hand and therefore I don't want to drop my phone and to make the play I just I, I'm gonna keep holding this phone and because I don't want to put it down uh, similar to the, the classic dilemma of do you throw do you lose your beer to catch the ball well clearly you it is worth the price of a beer to catch a foul ball um, is it worth the price of spilling a beer all over somebody? Well, maybe that's that's a separate calculation. But but also I I, I noticed how I went into this kind of passive state of not really not really responding to reality and just sort of being in this kind of tuned out uh, state. And so there was the regret over that missed opportunity, but I really saw it as, as representative 
of part of how I was living my life that I had let too many opportunities go by. I was wasting too much time. And what really hit me about that moment in particular was the idea of odds. Because I was looking up the odds that a foul ball could be hit to somebody and then it happened to me at that very moment. And I thought, what are the odds? What are the odds that somebody would have a foul ball hit to them while they were looking up the odds of a foul ball being hit to them? I mean, it really sounds unbelievable. Uh, if, this was in a, if this was fiction, it would, it would seem like a ridiculous coincidence. I, I, I hate when there's these like very uh, big coincidences are big plot points in a story because you just think, oh yeah, really, that's not going to happen. That's not likely. But this, this, this happens uh, and it's, it, it really is unbelievable. The odds, the odds are simply off the charts. It really could have been maybe the only time ever that somebody received a foul ball or had a foul ball hit near them while looking up the odds. Because there's not that many people, only uh, it's a very niche thing to say, you know, I'm going to look up the odds of having a foul ball hit to me. Uh, you know, it's only, a, it's a niche of people that uh, would love to find out or that are curious about things like that. Uh, and, but then this is something that would only take a moment. So of all the time you're at a game, your odds are one in hundreds or thousands of getting a foul ball near you, certainly hundreds of getting it near you. And, but this is only a brief moment of looking this up. The odds are incalculably small. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if it has happened at some point, somebody, the same thing, but it would really be a coincidence. This is really, so, so it, what, it, what it made me, it made me realize that it made me think of these, the, some odds are just beyond calculation. They're beyond number. They really are effectively unique. And that is life. That, that's what hit me, that, that life is unique. Life is full of these unique combinations. Yes, you know, humans, there's lots of people doing lots of things and lots of common things happen over and over. But the unique combination of things, unique combinations of events, there are so many configurations of events that are so unique, they're so improbable in their combination that the odds are beyond number that they really are effectively unique events ever, and they may never happen again. So this was just a really, a, a really action-packed, example is a very like in my face almost literally in my face example of this but this is something that happens in so many aspects of life that every day that happens is a unique configuration that will never happen again it is unique and I realized that my reaction of pa being passively stunned and letting the moment pass by was an unacceptable response to unique, this unique situation. And this event was one of many that it was part of contributing to me to really driving this sense that it's time for me to change my life, 
to take more active control of how I am living my life and to do whatever it takes to not let life just pass me by, but to really try to seize these unique moments and to make the most of them while I'm here.